already know, man, all things sports and entertainment. And we can completely disagree. Let's get this conversation started. But Bronny, you know, Bronny's playing a couple preseason games. He scored a total of, what, three points? A couple of blocks. I've seen where they try to say, <laughs> shout out to Dreamers Pro, Dreamers Pro, but uh, they try to compare him to Bronny to Dwayne Wade and blocks in preseason games. A lot of NBA executives think that Bronny should have not went pro. And according to Rich Paul, I'm looking at the article by ESPN, uh, Rich Paul said, quote, nobody pressured Bronny to go pro. Bronny had a choice to stay at USC. He had a choice to transfer somewhere else or a decision to go pro. This was Bronny call and Bronny's alone and one that publicly and privately drew immediate criticism. Now, let me let me say this because I mean, you got people come out here making videos. Um, I see where ESPN is uh, and the, the corporate outlets, they're trying to find a reason to make it seem like Bronny's doing contributing. And, you know, I feel bad for him. I don't want to call him a kid no more because he's 20 years old and he makes millions of dollars playing basketball. But I do feel bad. I do feel like he was thrown in the mix and i honestly think that this is going to affect uh lebron's legacy honestly you know so honestly man he he not ready man they need to they need to sit him down to the g league i don't want to hear this project development player Bronny's doing all the right things it's, it's, it's not it's not turning out to the court and don't, don't get me don't get it twisted right i'm rooting for Bronny. I want to see this work, you know, but if it looked like a duck and it quacked like a duck, it's not a mongoose, you know. Bronny is clearly not ready. And this is sad because a lot of people knew, even the NBA execs know. I do get it though, it's about money. The NBA is is mostly entertainment. So they trying to make, you know, they're gonna make tens of millions of dollars off of it. But they've been hyping Bronny up, right? I remember what well, Bronny was in middle school. They were saying, oh, he next up. And when he got to high school, majority of his peers came uh passed them up and uh when you look at people like uh jared mcclain and uh, mccain and all these other people you can tell that they're that they are more pro ready brian should be in his second year at usc and he's at least a three-year player but i got people in my comment section sometimes talking about i'm a hater and all that even though my first videos was talking about what people can learn what a what a, what a man a father and son can learn from lebron and Bronny. but don't nobody care about that huh but i mean but Bronny, he just he looked like a fish out of water he he looks confused out there he don't know what's going on and they're going to keep hammering it it's almost like you ever heard like a terrible song but you know they they play it over and over and over on the radio again to where it becomes catchy that's what it felt like was going on with Bronny. Bronny should have stayed in college or went overseas but he had no reason to go to the nba and then they make it seem like Bronny failed to the the 55th overall pick even though everybody knew that he was going to get selected and, you know, they had the, the father-son moment. But, I mean, it, Bronny looks like he's completely out of his element. And you can tell, in my opinion, that the young man is going through it psychologically because he knows he went from being one of the most um, loved, beloved, uh, yeah, I guess you want to call him a child star, child prodigy, to now the most one of the most hated. And it's not the fact that people think they want you to lose, but, I mean... We can't unsee what we see. And then you got people like Rich Paul. And shout out to him. I like Rich Paul, but you got people like him and, and, and his uh power, him and LeBron's power. They try to guilt trip you for criticizing that. But it's like, well, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Didn't LeBron put out that tweet that said that he's watching NBA League Pass and Bronny is, is better than the people that he's watching right now? Okay, so when you say that, let's see the product. Let, okay, when you get to the league, well, let's see it. And it just, it, it don't seem like it. It seems like he's just completely out of place. Like he don't know what's going on. He nervous. And even if he was drafted, he should have never been drafted by, with his dad, man. Like it's just, I'm a, I'm a, listen, I'm, I'm a big person of nepotism. If I was in the NBA and I could get my son in the NBA, I would. But if he ain't ready, he ain't ready. Sometimes we, as a parents, we, we try to rush the process too much. And Bronny needs another year or two. He, it ain't like he's sick. If he was six, 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 seven, hey, okay, well, you know, you if you you got the hype. But Bronny just seems like he's completely outmatched um, all of that. And then JJ Reddick said, well, he earned this position. How did he earn it? How do you earn this scoring four points coming off the bench at USC? And then when you get in the games at USC, the, the the players are far more. What was his name? Boogie, Boogie, um, not Boogie Gibson, because he played with LeBron. Boogie Ellis. Boogie Ellis was clearly the best player that, <laughs> over there at USC between him and um Isaiah Collier. But yet Bronny gets more attention. And then it, <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, I really this this is gonna be the most important year of this of this young man's life because you know, even though your father scored the most points ever. 
and will arguably be a, uh, a a top five player. In my opinion, he's a top five player. You know, he still, you know, Bronny has his people. People are going to literally, if, if he don't turn it around, he's going to be, he might be considered the biggest bust in history. And yes, he wasn't the first pick, but as far as like all this hype, he had more hype coming around. And I don't want to hear he's a kid and this, that, and the third, because what about when, um, when, when, when Anthony Bennett was the first overall pick? Y'all was calling him a bust during the preseason when he got drafted by the Cavaliers. Y'all remember that? Y'all wrote that man off by year one. So hell, hell before even the first season. So no, we no, no, no. We're gonna hold Bronny to the same accountability. I don't want to hear nothing about is this the kid take his time. This man makes millions of dollars now. He makes probably about forty, fifty thousand dollars a week playing professional basketball. So we're gonna hold him to the same standard. But yeah, but it seems like some people at ESPN are starting to it's not like people are afraid. They're afraid to really say it. But shout out to Cameron and Mace. You know, but a lot of people, they're they're afraid to say something. No, 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 no. We can't even see what we saw, y'all. So he, he ain't ready. He's not ready. He needs to go to the G League. Maybe he can help build the G League up. And then maybe he can come to the, he can come back. But <laughs> the kid is clearly... The young man, I mean, he, he ain't a teenager no more. The young man is clearly not ready for this. I don't want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think. And please, for the people who think he's ready for the NBA, I want you to tell me what y'all be seeing out there that I can't see. Let me know what y'all think.